Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Alves. Are you afraid of it? I didn't ask you any of these questions I'm before. I'm super scared of bugs. Okay, great. Okay. Um, I don't think I screamed that much. I only I only screamed for like a second, mostly, and it wasn't so much a scream. It was more of just, just, just louder than usual speaking. Who's Georgie? You'll see. Okay. This is Georgie. He's an African bullfrog. Um, you, yeah, you can pet him. Oh, he is squishy. What do you think, George? You want to hold him? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> okay. You're gonna. We both have kind of small hands, so you're gonna have to. I think I have big hands. Oh, okay. Sorry, she has huge hands. Oh my god, he's so squishy. It's at, he's, it feels so nice. What? You know those stress balls that you have? Like, he's like a stress ball. Yeah. yeah he's like but a I slimy, can't squish him. It's like the kind like that if you squish, ball. the other side will inflate. Yeah. I he's really want to squeeze him really big, hard, but I can't. Don't squeeze him really I, hard. I did, I did, I did, I did, I swear, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I swear I did not. Guys, the reason we're wearing gloves is because Georgie's an amphibian, um, which means he can soak up things through his skin. And if there's stuff on our hands, we don't want him to absorb that through his skin. That's bad for frogs, though, in the wild, because when there's, like, trash in the water, then oh, they, they absorb they pollutants, which is, yeah. Oh, you can't even, like, consent to the sucking. If you guys want to help frogs, don't litter. Don't litter! Can I show them the butthole? Yeah, you can show Guys, them. look. Oh, I don't want to drop. Look at the butthole. Do you see it? There's, like, green goo on it. I think that's just his skin. Are you sure? I think it's liquid. Can you touch it? Are you allowed to? I don't think he would like that. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what he eats? What? Mice. <gasps> he eats mice? He has that big of a he mouth? He eats mice and he eats bugs. Um, he eats mice like once a week. Not crazy, but he does eat it like- Wait, much. like whole? Yeah. Oh my God, you're Touch a big throat mouth. Goat. He's a, he's a, yeah, Bam. that's what they say about him. What does his poop look like? Uh, huge. Really? Like, like a normal log of poop, it's like that big. Like, it's crazy. Ooh. Like, he really poops. Georgie poops. There are clips of it. He's famous for it. Somebody asked how many teeth he has. He doesn't have true teeth. Uh, he has some protrusions on the bottom of his mouth. He's got three, like, they're called odontoids, I think, or dent odentoids. Um, three little bony protrusions on the bottom of his mouth. He did, he accidentally bit my finger once and it bled a lot. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh. His whole consistency is like, I guess jelly-like, kind of feels like slime. It's like one of those balls where you can squeeze it and the other end pops out, those stress balls. Just really wanted to squeeze him and have his body pop out. But I didn't, cause, cause that would kill him. I'm gonna bring you another friend. <gasps> okay. <gasps> oh my God. Next friend. Lizard boy. It's a lizard. It's a skink. His name is Toast. He blanked at you. Like oh, he's so blinking. Cute. I like his tongue. Wait, yeah. Show your tongue, Toast. Show it. His name oh, there oh, there it is. <laughs> His name's Toaster Strudel because oh, oh, it's blue. He was because it's a cute name for a lizard. Well, does he lick me? He might. Wait, I don't want to drop him. Can you lick me, please? Let him go. Ah! Um, he sticks his tongue out. That's how he smells. Uh, and he oh. has a blue tongue because it's how he scares predators, um, people that are gonna eat him. Because then he's like, I'm poisonous. He's oh, not. it's a lie. He's not poisonous. Oh my god, you're lying. I want to squeeze him too. He's a liar. Why is he lying? Please don't. Um, oh god, I don't want to kill him so bad. Like in a cute way. Never, so no one's ever said that. So I just saying. The thing that I say with toast is gardeners don't like snails because they eat their plants and then people put pesticides on their plants oh. and then the snails eat the pesticides and then the snails are poison and then toast eats the no. snails and then toast eats the pesticides and then like a bird will eat toast or something or whatever eats him and then they'll eat the pesticides, so pesticides and then they all die. Yeah, so you gotta be really careful with what you're applying to your plants and note that it affects a lot more than just the bugs that you think you're affecting. Oh uh, shit. What are you doing? Where are you? You really looking? He's smelling your vagina. Oh, that's nice, Toast. We were talking about how dogs do that today. Dogs do do that. Yeah. I like how his fingers look like human <gasps> fingers. Oh my god, you wanna see something ex exceptional? Yeah. He sheds. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just his little oh, okay. heads. I thought you cut that off of someone who died. No. Okay. <laughs> like, to preserve it, I don't no, know. No, he molts, and these are his oh, little right, gloves okay. that he shed off. Oh, okay, that's cute then. <laughs> oh my god, I was like... She's a fucking psychopath serial killer. <laughs> These are Toast Mittens. He he molted and then he shed these off. Look, it's his little glove hand. That's so, so cute. So baby hands. <laughs> so he sheds or molts uh, just like a snake does and that's how he gets bigger. Ew, I don't like the shit next Those to it. Those are um, scorpion molts. They also molt to get bigger. Ew, 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 ew. Scorpion molts. Ew. Cool. We don't have to look at scorpions today, right? Um. 
Chad, do you have any questions about Toast? <laughs> Chad, Toast is jacked. Look at his arms. Look at his biceps. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it actually looks really, really strong. He's jacked. I think Toaster, Toast, his, his arms are tiny. I would definitely crush him. I could probably crush him with one finger, honestly. I could crush his whole body with my hand. So I'd like to see him try and bench press. He might look jacked, but he's actually not that strong. I could have slammed him to the ground and he would have died, but I would never do that. Here's another one. Oh, oh he's so bent. Yeah, it is patchy. You wanna hold her? Yeah, how do I hold it? Just her. support as much of her body as you can. Okay. Oh, 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 she's so stretched. She's so stretched. Oh, she's so stretched. Oh my God, I love how stretched she is. Did you see <laughs> what that? Did you mean by that? <laughs> no, like her, she went like, oh. oh. <laughs> Hi. Um, mm, I want to squeeze her toe. No, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she was only born with one eye uh, because she was bred for color for the pet trade, and then that leads oh, to some shit. genetic problems sometimes. So she was only born with the one, and then they couldn't sell her to a pet store, so we rescued her. Um, She's so tight. Yeah, she constricts. I um, love it. So if she were to eat something, she would constrict it to her kill it. She's going. not venomous, um, but that's how she would kill things. She will not constrict Fan Fan because she can't eat Fan Fan because Fan Fan's too big for her to eat. Do snakes have teeth? Yes. Yeah. So they have what, a if bunch they of them. were to bite my finger, would I bleed? Yeah. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Whoa. They have a bunch of backwards facing teeth. So when they bite something, they'll grab it and they're backwards facing and then they'll like pull it into their mouth <laughs> with their teeth. <laughs> okay. But she won't do that to you. No, she's never bit anybody. When she eats mice, does she do the thing where she puts like the whole mouse in her mouth? Yeah. Oh. She eats the whole thing. Oh my god, you get so stretched out. They swallow their what? prey whole. How big do they get? Let me show you her last shed. This is how long Patchy is Ooh, now. Is that maybe a little her bit body, longer. her old body? Yeah. She's a pretty long snake. Okay, this is Patchy's current shed, her most recent shed. And this is when we first got Patchy from her head to her tail. Oh. Cool, huh? So every time they shed, uh, they grow. It's They literally grow out of their skin. Wait, is her skin like bulletproof? Patchy was so tight around my arm. She was like, I didn't really feel the slithering much, but she just kept squeezing my hand. And it made me feel, I mean, I haven't held anyone's hand in a long time, but it felt really nice. It felt like I was desired, you know? It felt really good. <laughs> wait, 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 why is it raw? What? I don't like that it's raw. You mean like not in a container? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's in my hand, don't okay, worry. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Guys, this is the first bug that Fan Fan's gonna meet. No, 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 Fan Fan. No, no, no. Fan Fan. Ah, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I think I maintained composure and stayed pretty chill throughout the whole thing. Hello. Are you coming to say hi? Siren. Siren. Hi. Hey guys. What are you doing? Do you say hello? Say hello. It sounds like she's calling you mama. Say hello. Hello. That's nice. She can talk a little bit. Good job. Do you want to give her a pistachio? Yeah. For you, a pistache. <laughs> Is it oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, she fucking opened it. <laughs> She's excited. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Can you sing happy birthday? <laughs> yeah. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> So this is Siren, this is Mia. You might not have known that she was there because she's so very quiet. different. You can give her this pistache. She's so quiet. A pistache heel for you. Mia is a Congo African gray. Siren, don't be cringe, don't be cringe. Don't be, don't be cringe. cringe. Come here, come here. Oh, she's jealous? Oh my God. <laughs> Mia's species is endangered uh, because people will collect them for the pet trade. So they'll like take them out of the wild and then sell them as pets. Um, oh. And then people got them as pets and then they do this to like your house. <laughs> like oh, they shit. chew through wood and like they'll like chew through doors. Uh, and then over here is Tico and Miley. Tico with the wings. Oh, they're so pretty. Um, is a blue and gold macaw. Miley is Whoa! a cattle. Oh, look at what, did you see that shit? What the fuck? Yeah. 
that was insane. Nice. Oh, I won't let you feed these oh guys God. because. Wow, there's good wings. Tico's learning how to fly. He does not? Um, no, but they're capable. They just don't know how because they've been in captivity their whole lives. Uh -huh. Tico's learning how to fly, so she's been training with like giving oh us Oh my wings. God, that's so cute. Um, oh my God, that's so cute. They're, they're like an ice cream cone. They're cool. They're like super, you don't want to get too close to them because they will like bite break, me, break your fingers. Yeah. A macaw in yeah. Florida, not that long ago, ate a kid's finger. Are you like serious? at a restaurant? Yeah, there was like a restaurant in Florida. There was a macaw as like a like a decoration in the restaurant. It was like oh. sitting on a perch. It flew down to a table, bit a toddler's finger off, took it back up to the branch and ate it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's crazy. People <laughs> don't realize how Whoa. dangerous they are. And then they're like, I want big pretty bird in my house. And then everything goes wrong. Uh, so if you're thinking about getting a parrot, think very, very carefully and also think like the rest of your life. <laughs> And like having Siren in your house for the rest of your life, you probably lose your mind. She looks so sad. She like followed you when you walked away. <laughs> oh, she's, she's crying. crying. What a baby. Siren. Oh man. I'm so sorry. Do you want to give her a pistachio? Oh. Here. Okay. You can give her that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Here. Can you get it? Here you go. You can stay here all day if you want. You can just sit there with her if you want to. But she doesn't even want me. She wants you. She just, uh, I don't think she cares. I think it could be either of us and she'd be uh, fine. Oh my God, I'm actually going to kill myself. I started crying because it looked really sad. Cause it seemed like she just wanted Maya to hang out with her. But then Maya's too busy hanging out with me, so she can't hang out with Siren. She had to she had to leave and she looked so sad. She was following Maya around and uh, I just wish I, I wish I could lock Maya in there with her to like live with Siren forever. Yay, Stompy! Oh oh my god, he actually comes to you. Yeah, he's nice. Oh does he have arms? Yeah, he's got wings. Look. Oh, okay. Does he Here? fly? No. Oh, okay. These are his wings. <laughs> he can't fly, he's too big. You can pet him on his, like, back here if you want. This is an Australian bird, an Australian ratite. <laughs> oh my god, he, oh, he wants to hug you. <laughs> he oh, likes Maybe they hugs. do miss you. Oh, he's kind of yeah. hard. It's weird, right? His yeah, feathers are really weird. Way hard, like, softer. <laughs> oh, bless you. He's a very cuddly bird. Stompy is the first ambassador that we got. Oh, um, so, so cute. He was, uh, his egg was laid at a zoo in California. Oh, I squeeze him too. <laughs> he can, mm. He's a little more squeezable than the mm, reptiles are. But I can't. Um, you can give him a hug if you want. Okay. You can squeeze him. Like over here. Oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. This feels weird. I feel like we can't hug yet because he doesn't know me. Do you want to hug me or? Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> oh, I just steal my bracelet. You like shiny things. <laughs> I'll put him with my fist. Friends. Oh my god, he's so erect. <laughs> That's a big chicken. What's he doing? Eating air. Yum. Oh, oh yummy. <laughs> nom, nom. I think my hug with Stompy. It was a little awkward, but I think he liked me. I mean, he 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 tucked his head around my neck and sort of gave me a pat on the back, but then that was like the extent of our hug. I feel like there was a little tension there. Maybe he doesn't like me or something, but I did try to be nice. I got it. Oh, 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 so cute. This is, oh. this is a fox enclosure. Oh, so cute. Hi, buddy. Hello. We have two American red foxes. Red? Yeah, he is gray uh -huh. um, because Hi. he was bred for the pet trade. Oh no. So uh, people breed them like lots of different colors Hi. to look like spotted and gray and silver and whatever. Um, he came to us because he was confiscated from the illegal pet trade in California. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't want a fox as a pet either, chatters. You hear that? Hello, oh, cutie that's brave. pie. Good boy. Aw, his ASMR. wet nose. Oh, he's so What'd fast. Mm, no, God, I love you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like being touched. It looks like yeah, it's okay. I, I get it. Like, I want to do that too. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, it's so pretty. So Finn came from the illegal pet trade in California. Reed was born in the wild in California. Uh, was raised by people though, um, because he was orphaned as a baby, um, and so that's why he's non-releasable. He's so pretty. Like his legs you are see ombre. If you can give him, you can give Reed this. Okay. Um, so I would go like squat down and see if he'll come up to you. He's much more Whoa. shy than Finn is. Come here. Wow. Yes, he's so, so brave. Nice. Good boy. So brave, Pika. Good boy. These two. Good boy, you're so pretty. You're Good so job, pretty. Reed. I want to touch his nose so bad. <laughs> oh, well, there's nothing else. Oh, a paw. He got. She's gonna cry. He's been learning oh, how to. God. <laughs> he did the thing even though he was here. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here you go, here's more. He's been learning how to give us his paw in case we need to do like injections or something so we can see oh. his arm. Is it um, just like dogs learning tricks? Yeah, kind of. Um, oh it's God, just like teaching so a dog cute. how to shake, except the purpose is not like for fun as yeah. much as it is. Good job. <laughs> um, it's so that we can look at his at his leg uh, without having to like. It feels so good. <laughs> he's so nervous. It's so cute. Yeah, he's a little nervous. They don't they don't behave like dogs do. I think people expect them to be yeah. like, oh, I'll have a dog like a fox, and it'll just act like a dog, but it'll be cool well, like he's a fox. His head. That's a good sit. Oh, um, good job. But the reality is, they're they're completely different animals, and they act completely different. Um, that's so nice. Oh. You're sitting there. Oh, drama. Finn's face, though, you can even see, looks so different from Reed's. Um, and ironically, he just looks more like a dog. Um, yeah, I th like he's got a shorter nose. Yeah, um, and it's because when they yeah, start breeding them really for color like and they're breeding them for like traits to be in a house. That's nice, bud. Thank you. Um, they they're just like making a dog. Yeah, <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I want them to be friendly. I want them to sit. I want them to not be afraid of people. I want them to have spots. And it's like yeah. you just want a dog. Just, like just, just get a dog. Get a dog. <laughs> just get a dog and say it's a fox. Yeah, just do that. <laughs> So I'll say what the fox is, because a lot of people ask in these enclosures. I've said they're non-releasable because they were raised by people and they don't know how to take care of themselves. Yeah. I would love to see these foxes in the wild, yeah. like more than anything. I, I wish they could be wild foxes because that's like oh, the pacing. life they deserve. All of the animals at Alveas, their options are either remain under human care and like teach people like mm -hmm. Fan Fan and, and teach streamers and teach all of you guys, or it's be euthanized. And so for the animals that we have that are relatively comfortable with people, um, we think we can give them really good quality of life under human care. Mm -hmm. And so that's why they're all here. But I would love nothing more for, than for them to be wild. They're just, they're non-releasable. Oh, at first I really liked the gray fox because the gray fox came up to us and greeted us. But then afterwards, the orange fox, I forgot their names, but the orange fox put his, he put his hand on my hand so gently. It was so gentle. Like he didn't even, he didn't even use any force. He just grazed me and it felt so cute. It felt so cute. I really liked how it felt. So I like the, I like the orange one more. <laughs> this is the crow enclosure. Whoa, he's so good at flying. This is Abbott. Oh my God, they all like you. <laughs> They went on her. Oh my god. These are both American crows. Uh -huh. uh, if you want to put your arm out, he'll probably land on you. Really? Good boy. Good job. Oh, he's so cute. Abbott's an American crow, so is coconut. Oh, good job, Whoa. buddy. Here, oh, take okay, these. Thank god. And then you can throw those one at a time to coconut, and I will occupy Abbott. Nice catch. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute! <laughs> He's so me. <laughs> Coconut is pretty new to oh, I'm so sorry. To being Oh my god, that's the cutest thing. Look. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> He's pretty new to being out with uh, new people around. He like recently decided oh. that people are not so bad. Oh. Um, they were both born in the wild, blown out of their nests as babies. What? Um, and then were raised by people, and they don't know how to take care of themselves. Coconut also oh. has a wonky leg. I don't know if you guys can see that. He walks kind of funny. Mm -hmm. um, I'm out. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> that is all. Good job, Abbott. Um, oh. You want to see Abbott's favorite game? Okay. You want to do your rings? One. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's so smart. Boop, boop, boop. Ah. One. Good job. Oh, he's so good at it. He's so good at it. Wait, how did you get him to learn how to do this? Um, It started ah. with like picking up the ring uh -huh. um, and then bringing it towards here and then only rewarding him when he gets it on the base. Oh my God. One. That's so good. cool. Here, you can throw one for him. <gasps> here. One. 
Oh, he's so good at it. <laughs> what? The crows were so cute. The one of them was really smart. The other one was. I feel like the other one gets bold. It's like it, it kind of looked like an older, younger sibling situation where the older one can do more things, and the older one is more outgoing, and the older one is just overtaking the younger one. Because the other one, Coconut, he kept standing there and getting his food stolen, and he also couldn't do any tricks. But I really liked them. It felt really nice on my hand because he landed so perfectly, and he was so he was so uh he was so light. I thought he would be heavier, but it was felt nice. Hello. So these are the marmosets. Oh, they're kind of scary. Appa, yeah, come here. Oh um, my god. <laughs> Appa is a common marmoset. Hi. And Momo is a black tufted marmoset. Whoa, he's mad. Oh, butthole. Where could the other one possibly be? I think be, he's sleeping. You know? Oh, Momo. like in there. Okay. Oh, he, he wants to go again. Mad. There's Momo. Are you eating? Oh my god, he has food all in his mouth. <laughs> It's a big mouthful. <laughs> Momo's a black tufted marmoset. Uh -huh. uh, he is missing more than half of his teeth, and that's Aww. why it looks kind of gummy while with him eating yeah. right now. It's you, when you feed a kid. If you feed a kid like all sugar, their teeth will rot out, right? Uh -huh. So he had to get more than half of his teeth removed. Can <laughs> I don't want to be responsible yeah, for dropping you, you on my shoulder. You don't need to okay? jump on shoulders. Are you screaming? <laughs> you don't have to. He tried to like sneak it too. Here. Just stay over here. Okay. Yeah. He's no, going. <laughs> That's good. Thank you very much. Monkeys are a lot. You don't want them as pets. One, uh, because they're seed dispersers. So in the wild, they'll they'll eat fruits and then swing around and shit everywhere. Oh. And it helps with forestry growth, right? Uh -huh. So like in your house, they'll run around and shit everywhere, uh, which is not ideal. They mm -hmm. bite. That's why I'm not letting him on our shoulders. Uh -huh. Is because monkeys bite. It's fine oh, okay. with him because he's just scratching. Because he's so little, uh, it's not like the biggest deal ever, but it's obviously not ideal. Uh -huh. um, and it's just super unfair to them. You know, monkeys are made to be climbing um, climbing trees and being like a hundred feet up, you know, in a yeah. canopy. Uh, and so for them to be in a little cage inside is just massively unfair. Can I look inside? Mm -hmm. You might get jump scared by a monkey. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, they're both here. Hello. <laughs> Oh, oh, he, oh, he gave me a high five. Oh, that's nice. He <laughs> patted my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> so with the monkeys, number one, don't get a monkey as a pet. Number two, if you guys see a lot of the reason people want monkeys as pets is because of like TikTok and videos and they see like monkeys in people's houses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you see content like that, just don't engage with it or report it if you want. Uh, I don't know how much it does to report stuff on TikTok. Yeah, I don't like, uh, not just monkeys, just any exotic pet. I don't like when people yeah, have them as pets. Yeah, it's not good for them. Yeah, just get a cute dog or something. Exactly, get a dog, get a cat. Oh! <laughs> Any parting words for Alveus or Maya? Um, thank you for having me and thanks for taking care of all the animals. Um, I hope a lot of people donate and because you guys are doing something really nice for these animals that have nowhere else to go. And I loved it. I mean, I hope I can come back and see them all again. Okay, that's everything. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, great. Thanks.